What is up, YouTube? Red Panzer here again today playing Hellion, an early access space survival game on Steam. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what to do when you start out or when the first time that you click a fresh start in Hellion. Okay, it is a PvP game and I do like PvP servers because I like the fact that we can pew pew other players to get their stuff. Okay, so we're going to start in the cryo chamber. So we push F to interact, and that will open it. Decides to open it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. There would be a space station module, that one over there, and that one is like a derelict that we can explore. Um, small slim pack, we can pick that up, we can use it. Don't think anything will happen though. <gasps> okay, then we're gonna go through this way. Ooh, another small slim pack. Yeah, we can grab our Ugh. Need to drop. Ah, well odd. Put the pressure suit on. The jet pack on. And put the helmet on. Okay, if you push H, your helmet will open. This now we can pick up because now we have an inventory slot. And then we're gonna go through this door. The door on the right hand side. And then we should get zero gravity. Ah! Okay, so now we're in zero gravity on our station where we start. Um, just remember guys, small alien is very sensitive on the controls in both person and ship. So small taps and you'll get the hang of it and in no time you'll be going quick. Okay, push F to initialize the artificial gravity and I switched it back on. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, go around the corner. Okay, there we go. Mm. These cryopods are for, sorry, cryopaddles, or pods, whatever you want to call them, are for you and your friends. So you can invite your other friends. Um, if your friend wants to join your server, um, what he would need to do is sit in a screen where we started with uh, a fresh start, continue, or let a player invite you. This would be where the player invites you. So you would push F, click that little person, and then you can choose one of your friends here to invite. And then he'll say yes, and then he'll get it, and then he'll join. Okay, so this is our station, or our first station. You can move it, you can take it wherever you want later on, or you can find a completely different one. But it's got a nice one to start with. Go to the supply, power supply. You switch it on here by clicking that. So now the capacitor is on. And then you click the solar panels. Solar panels are powering up, and then they will switch on and get sun coverage and power up your system. You can click on consumption, and here you can turn off individual stuff or see what you use. So if we want lights, we're gonna go turn on lights. A little dark, is Then you go to your life support. Click on the air generator, and by and go online, and same with the air filter. Then you've got air. Okay, you do get boxes, but I see on this one we don't get we get anything. We get nothing in because I think everything here would be ready to go. Yeah, everything would be green, so we wouldn't need to attach anything on. Um. 
this is where you call for a distress call. So I don't know, another player would be able to pick up that distress call, come save you, and then this is where you call for your ship. Our ship is already in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go do... Satellites. No. Alrighty then. Okay, push H. We're going to go get our first module. So, there would be no gravity here. On the side of this right-hand side. Old ship, so you don't fly away. I died the first time. Got sucked out. Landed up here. Dead, dead, and dead. Okay, so now you see our jetpacks are still off. You can use your jetpack to get there, or you can just push forward slightly and let your guy fly there eventually. Um, jetpack will give you better stability and control over your character. So when you're doing movements or turns, we'll show you later the difference. Okay, so we're just saving the jetpack. There's not much fuel. Um, we can go into the door or the module from that way, but what we really want to do first is fly over to the back, just hold shift when you think you're going to fly off. And we're going to come to this panel, which is just right on top. Right. Back on that, and that's going to give us the screen. Don't move your mouse. Push R. That's going to give you this view. That's where we want to dock it on. So, same as your character. Small movements, because it's ten times worse on one of these things. Or a ship. We're just lifting it a bit. I like to line up horizon first. Okay, don't worry about taking your time on the first time, guys. It will take long to get used to it. I haven't moved my mouse yet. And it's super steady, like a surgeon right now. Because that's how it has to be in this game. Anything that you do one way has to be done the other way. You hold left or forward for three seconds, you've got to hold the opposite of that for three seconds. Um, it is painful in the beginning because you will shoot off a lot or mm, smack into things but you get used to it um i've played a lot of star citizen and space engineers where it's a lot easier to control for instance space engineers would be the easiest star citizen it's just automatically your thing will lock in go straight in. okay so now that's locked we're just going to move away from it. Give you a view. And there we go. We got our first module. That's our ship. What this module does... It gives you an airlock and a decompression for your station. Uh, this is hard. Okay. You push F. Make sure both doors are ready. Go depressurize. And now we'll depressurize. Just a tip. You can switch off your jetpack. You don't need your jetpack. If you're just sitting there standing still. It will save your jetpack. Okay. And now we'll give us depressure chamber in our station. Can open it from the back door. Yes, you can. Out the door. And then you would do the exact same as what we did. Trying to switch on your jetpack. They move your mouse like a mother. Right? And it's just not moving. So a tip would be switch on your jetpack. And hold your camera back on switch it off we don't need to use it outer door because the outer door is closed both doors are red now red. 
and repressurize. Okay, and now our room will repressurize. When it gets to, I think, your six, or when your exterior pressure bar goes white on the bottom under your oxygen, you can take off your helmet. Again, just rotate. Yay! And that is that. Ooh, what is that? AC gun. Ooh. And we'll just go one door. We find. Oh. I just picked up which is like a resource can so you know you get the blue ones which is this one and I think the reddish one is the oxygen where this would be the oxygen. take it to this part over here of your station push F this one over here it can charge your gun or your actual jetpack F and there's charging it No. Gun. Okay. Take that. Okay, so now I think, now that we got our module on, we can go explore. We're going to go explore that other derelict. Loot. Some stuff we can use it for our ship. Always upon the way. Oh, that's how that okay so say again in the door we're gonna close the inner door rise okay make sure now moment is on Open it on the right side as well, but there is our derelict that we're looking for. If you push X, yeah, will come up a little interface or a point of interest. Or whatever. So we're gonna click on derelict so that we can see what we're aiming to. Again, I'm not using jetpack, I don't have much, and I know I'm gonna use quite a bit of jetpack maneuvering in here. So just save what you can. Haven't explored many derelicts or stations yet. Don't all know what they have, but there's some good loot, guns, weapons, um, or life support stuff. Stuff that you can run your ship. There's other modules which you can attach to your station. Okay. So you get that not always. So what is that? Ooh. There's bullets. No, there is a gun somewhere on that ship. Nothing. Nothing. Disappointment. Ooh, okay. So there's a resource cannon. So that would be bullets. Yeah. Track and oxygen up to that. Oh, what am I doing? Yep.
<sighs> okay, okay. Right. So now that we've explored our first one, we got some stuff. This was kind of a really good Yep. Oh, that was great. Hide again. Go panel. Go. Pressure ride. Push the jetpack off the way. Does it just yeah? Hey, I didn't want a gun anyway then. Something in my hand. <laughs> that drop. So that was the first part now the next bit would be to get ship and go explore Hillian basically gather resources I will be doing another video to show you how to walk and how to navigate and get to your first motor, ah, your first station your first life support thing do next okay i hope you all enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe and until next time guys bye